We have a special, special guest today, okay? She is a presenter, okay? She's a backdrop cast member from the current season, season five. We have the amazing Charlotte Tahira in the building. <laughs> you know, you're doing radio, you're doing production, and you're now on Backchat. Like, how did this opportunity of Backchat come along? And what made you go into Backchat? Um, I like to be heard. So yeah. you definitely see moments where I like make a point to like, no, I'm going to say this. Like when someone's <laughs> trying to cut me off. Do you feel like it's a bit frustrating sometimes? Like when you're trying to get a word and you're trying to talk and you, you can't really say your point. <laughs> sometimes there was things I really wanted to say. Me trying to say it, it just wouldn't have went through. Like there was too much going on. I think characters like Lani, mm -hmm. you need the, these different characters. I think if you actually took it away, mm. the show wouldn't be as entertaining. Who's your most favourite Backtrack cast member? <sighs> oh, that is so hard. Do you know what? I've said it to his face, so it's Ooh. not even that deep. Oh my God, please don't say it. There's just little things I've seen him do or say that I would have been like, what? Like, hold on. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta watch the whole season, girl. What can we I, expect? Yeah. Was it that bad? I think it was disrespectful what was said, yeah. We love Benny McCauley. Oh, hello, cutie. Whenever I request to join, it doesn't let me. Instagram know, doesn't like it's me. It's annoying. But you're <laughs> finally here. We have a special, special guest today. Okay, she is a presenter. Okay, she's a backdrop cast member from the current season, season five. We have the amazing Charlotte Tahira in the building. <laughs> How Thanks, are that you? intro was sick. How are you? How are you? Yeah, feeling? good. Um, it's been a weird, just like. Today felt like a Sunday. I just ran a few errands, been with yeah. the family, like, yeah. Chilling yeah, and that rain as well, I'm kind of glad. Oh, no, nah, it's, it's, it's a hot mess outside. Like, it's a complete mess. Before we dive into back chat, I wanted to say, like, I really was so inspired by your journey and your energy and your page. Before we dive into back chat real quick, can you just give us a little bit of background on your journey as a presenter, who you are? Um... So I've been working in radio since like January 2013. Um, I've worked on commercial stations like Capital Capital Extra, uh, public service stations like One Extra, Radio One Asia Network at like the BBC, and then like um, also community like Represent, Rinse, Roundhouse. So like radio is my baby. It's been for like the last, yeah, I don't know how many years that is now. I think eight, eight years. Oh, okay. Um, but I've been doing both, like, so I do presenting, obviously, but I also do the production stuff as well. So I produce okay. stuff as well for brands like Magic, Capital and stuff. So I do, I do, a bit like a content creator where you do like all the behind the scenes stuff, but also I love chatting, as you don't know. Um, and then I also um, have a couple of podcasts that I produce and present, uh, Badass Mums and Love Yours, because I'm a working mum. Yeah, shout out all my mums. Yes, shout out to the boss mums out there, killing it. <laughs> and then finally, I guess um, the other thing I do is a lot of mentoring, and I'm a qualified teacher. So um, I recently left teaching full time to go back into the industry and get full time in a uh, radio. How's that um, been like? I miss the students. Um, I love yeah. my old students. Some of them are amazing. You'll know some of them, like uh, Jeremiah Asiyama. Okay. He's like one of my old students. Um, so there's a few who are like in the industry now doing really great stuff. Yeah. But I felt like I'm too young to be, like I still need to be doing it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And I'll go back to teaching when I'm older. Yes, so we yeah. love it. Do you feel like, you know, radio is your first baby? Like, and like, it's your first passion and teaching is like your second passion. Like, do you, do you feel that yeah. way? Yeah. Like teaching only came because radio stations asked me to train their new presenters. Okay. That's how I got into the teaching. And then I thought, oh, I can do this full time. And then once I went into like a school and started doing it, I was like, oh my God, yeah. maybe not. Maybe this is for later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're doing radio, you're doing production and you're now on Backchat. Like how did this opportunity of Backchat come along? And what made you go into Backchat? 
I've always loved the show. Like, okay. I actually hit up Andy, like, years ago and was like, you need to get me on. You need to get me on in, on his Twitter DMs. Um, yeah. That must have been, like, season two I tried to get involved. Okay. Um, and then he was like, oh, yes, we'll see. We'll go through the editions of that. And I kind of just got busy with other things. Okay. And then I seen that they were taking auditions. And I was like, do you know what? Let's just try it. Like... Because it's a debate show and because I've recently started hosting One Extra Talks, to me, I was like, this is a perfect visual, more ratchet version <laughs> of like what I do at BBC. So I was like, yeah, I, I think this is up my street. Because that's the thing, as much as um, people often say to me like, oh, you're role modeling, you're a teacher. I'm from Lewisham. I still got my ratchet size. Okay. I still know how to throw it down. We ain't seen none of that yet, though. We ain't seen none of that ratchetness. Okay, we've seen all the... <laughs> all the you know bringing all the good i feel like you're like the not the mediator but you're more like you you come in and you bring it back to the topic and mm -hmm. i feel like i feel like a lot of the cast members yeah they do bring in good points but i feel like you know they do go off topic and they go around the circles but with you like can we bring it back to the topic please like you're always bringing it back so we ain't, we ain't seen none of that so i'm a bit like <laughs> i'm surprised we ain't seen none of that yeah i think i'm just one of them people i I always think I'm right, first of okay. all, which yeah. is a good and a bad thing. Yeah. And also, um, I like to be heard. So yeah. you'll definitely see moments where I like make a point to like, no, I'm gonna say this, like when someone's <laughs> trying to cut me off. Um, so yeah, I think I'm good at it. <laughs> no, when I saw the trailer, it definitely caught my eye. It definitely caught my attention. You know, there was a there's a whole lot of new faces, okay, on the trailer. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. And you yeah. being on there as well. And honestly, like, I, it was so refreshing to see that there was a lot of new faces and, you know, they voted you in um, onto the first debate on the first episode. And I was so glad that you and Falake came into the debate mm -hmm. at the right time, because like I said, like, I felt like they were going around in circles, they were going off topic, and I felt like someone needed to save that debate because that topic was so amazing and it was so refreshing. So I was like, yes, yeah, so bring her in, bring her in. And then when you came in, you was like, let's do this. Like, let's do this. What was your initial thought with everybody? Like, what, what was you thinking? I honestly didn't think they was gonna pick me because as yeah. you guys know, um, I was pregnant. I've, just, I've got a seven week old now. He just had seven Congratulations. Weeks. Thank you. So I was pregnant during some of the filming. So I feel like of all the cast members, I spent the least time with everyone because okay. I literally went into labor, like not on set. Yeah. What did I? <laughs> um, but, <laughs> no, but I literally went into labor like mid filming. So okay. um, I missed a few filming sessions and I thought, oh, like the whole voting thing, no one's going to vote for me because, you know, they don't know me as well. So I was really happy I got voted in. And yeah. cult cancel culture, especially working in media, like, as you yeah. know, it's yeah, a definitely. big part of, of yeah. like everything you do. Like you're worried about, oh, if I do this, am I going to get cancelled and stuff? So you came in, you was dropping a whole lot of gems on your confessions. You was dropping all these amazing points when it came to like boycotting the um, the businesses and BLM. And I was like, yes, like, come on. Like someone needs to like come in and say some good points. And I feel like with you and Falake, like you was like bouncing off each other. At some point there was other shenanigans that was going on and he was like, bring it back to the topic, cancel culture, bring it back to the topic. <laughs> You're in a debate with strong-minded people, strong characters, strong personalities with strong opinions. And if it seems like at times, like it does get heated in the moment, obviously like it gets heated in the moment, mm -hmm. but like, you know, at times you can't get a word in and you're trying to speak. In the past seasons, we've seen certain cast members, they've had to scream to get their point across. They've had to scream to be able to talk. Do you feel like it's a bit frustrating sometimes like when you're trying to get a word in, you're trying to talk and you, you can't really say your point? <laughs> It's a tough one because I even said this to um, some of the team, like I'm used to, like when I was on Represent, I presented a two hour show by myself. Yeah. So I was like, talk, like the audience was who I was talking to. Yeah. So it's weird when um, you've got so many voices with different opinions. Yeah. And because obviously everyone's a character, that's the thing as well. It's not even <laughs> like you're in a group of friends where there's the quiet one and the, like everyone's a character. Yeah. So I wouldn't say it's frustrating. I think it makes you have to like, 
find your angles mm. and make sure you've got your strong angles and also like be a bit tactful in like when you speak because yeah. sometimes there was things I really wanted to say yeah. um, and I've got a bad memory so I'm like oh I'm gonna forget if I don't say this but <laughs> me trying to say it it just wouldn't have went through like there was too much going on so it was just like instead of the point just getting completely lost let me just hold back and wait for my moment to interject yeah yeah, yeah. And it seemed like that because you you was just like observing and listening to like li listening at everyone and then when you was trying to speak when you were speaking you just spoke your point and every point that you made you was you was killing i was like yes 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 it's about time Hi. but i will have to say though the recent episode uh episode two not I everyone like, agrees with me on that i feel like i was like in I, i'm not gonna lie i was with ezo i was with ezo i know a lot of people ain't feeling ezo but i love ezo i love her unfilteredness and she's so unapologetic but i feel like i was more on ezo a little bit on lani and a little bit with you because i felt like you made a point saying that at the end of the day like she knew what the the part that the partner she knew what she was getting herself into so she can't be complaining so i felt like i agreed with you on that point but i was like i'm I, yeah i had to agree with ezo you know something in hindsight watching it back something i didn't say which i strongly strongly believe like yeah. I don't believe that the father owes the baby mum stuff to make her like have to be able to like she should be able to get up and get her kids to school. But yeah. the reality is life happens. Like I have a three year old and a seven week old. Yeah. With my husband's help, it now takes me three hours to get out of the house. Like that's yeah. with help. So when Ezo Ezo was like, Oh, I'll get up half an hour early, I was thinking, Are you mad? <laughs> like that's not how it works. But I That's, feel like with you and Emmanuel, I feel like because you guys were relating it as because you guys are parents, parents, right? Yeah. So I feel like I definitely like you guys were like there was different points from different angles, and I think as well with the mother that probably wasn't the first thing she did. Like as I was making it out, like she was late a couple times to school, so she was like, "You need to get me a car." <laughs> I guarantee she tried other ways to get these kids to school on time, and it's now like yeah. okay. I know you can afford it. Can yeah. you help with a car? Because I've tried everything else and they're still late. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> nah, I don't agree with Ezra. Ezra knows. Ezra knows. I don't agree with her. I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because, you know, I was looking um, under the comments as well, like under the comments of the videos. You know, I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's like an unpopular opinion. But I feel like, like quite a lot of people, like, I know she's got a lot of like supporters but a lot of people are just not feeding her maybe because like she has a different opinion compared to everybody else like she's on her own little world even though yeah. i feel like a lot of people do understand where she's coming from but like when it when you, when you're in the panel when you're in the debate everyone's like Ezo, what are you doing <laughs> well you gotta rate that because that's yeah you gotta respect her because it's so easy to agree with people yeah so for her to like say what she said and be like that's what I said. I meant it. Yeah, like, it was like, it straight up. Yeah, so I rate that in a sense. But um, yeah, the comments are mean, man. I'm waiting for. I've already had people to tell me to go home. Like, why? Are you, why am I there? Because I'm pregnant. But I'm waiting for someone to say something proper rude to me. I can't wait. I want to see what people have to say. With all the shenanigans, we see some of the shenanigans that goes down um, during the debates. You know, the back and forth between Lani and Joseph, and you know, the back and forth who's got. Whose content is better on YouTube and things like that? Do you feel like at times it does get frustrating when you're trying to have a serious debate and then these shenanigans are happening? Do you feel like it takes the attention away from the From debate? the convo. Yeah. It does, but I think characters like Lani, mm -hmm. you need the, these different characters. Do you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think if you did take it away, as much as a few people have said that, I think if you actually took it away, mm. the show wouldn't be as entertaining. Okay. Um, because it's it's kind of like when you're out with your mates, you'll be talking about something serious and then someone will come over, like a stranger will do something and you're like, oh my God. Do you know what I mean? Like natural conversations don't yeah. just follow a straight line. So yeah. I think if you try to keep it too rigid on the topic, like it would get boring. You, it only lasts like 10 minutes, 15 minutes and it would get boring. Yeah, which is why I wanted to ask you as well, because, you know, don't get me wrong. I feel like Lani is entertaining. Like she is pure entertainment. Like 
the girl knows how to entertain people okay 100 <laughs> percent. but you feel like like in the past we've seen it in the blogs backchat has gone viral um because of certain things that have happened or certain moments that have happened that some of the shenanigans that have happened and like yes it does bring in the views but do you feel like if it wasn't for those moments would it still be the same like would it would the debate still the same would it still have that popularity like without the entertainment and the shenanigans that goes down mm, it's tough to say obviously backtrack was one of the like first of its mm. kind and now there's a lot more debate shows not with as many members yeah. but there's definitely more like panel kind of debate stuff yeah um but I think people just need to love it for what it is. Like, mm. I'm just proud to, like, have... A, like, it's run by black people. Yes. Obviously, the majority of the cast is black. Like, yes. let's just have more content made and owned and, free, like, front-faced by black people. Like, that's what I love about it. Yeah. Um, and I just think we've got... So, like, as, as black communities, we have so many different layers to us, so many different characters. And I think yeah. that's what Backchat kind of does. It shows you, like... Even though we're all black, like, we're all very, very different people. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like this season is has been so refreshing so far. I know we're two episodes oh. in, but it has been so refreshing. I don't know, maybe because of the new faces, but I feel like, like, going in, like, I'm loving the dynamic. It's not too, it's not too much, it's not too toxic, it's not too... Um, it's like it's it's a balance. You have the fun moments and you do have the serious debates. And I think that's what probably was missing, the balance. Cause I feel like mm. in the past it was more like there was a whole lot of things that were going down, even with the behind the scenes, but less on the debate. And I feel like it's 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 bringing back the source. It's coming back and I, I, I'm loving it. I feel like it's bringing it back to where it was in season one and season two and season oh, three. That's, that's a massive compliment. No, I feel like it is. I feel like you guys are bringing something different. I don't know, maybe because we've got YouTube content creators on there, but yeah, it's, it's different. Do you, do you feel like that's the same or? Yeah, I definitely think it's um, unique. And even the way Andy's um, structured it with there's there's more than like five girls and five guys. Yeah. So not everyone's on every topic. Even yeah. that keeps it fresher because you don't get like, over people's personalities or like it doesn't get predictable what's gonna yeah. happen do you know yeah. what i mean i wanted to um ask you you don't have to answer it but you can uh <laughs> we'll see we'll see what you are <laughs> so if you had to pick one who's your most favorite backtrack cast member oh, that is so hard but can i pick one out of the boys and the girls go on then so girls it's really a draw between the girls, but I love Monty. I love Manise as well, but I love Monty. Like yeah, me and Monty, I, I feel like I feel like we're the same person. Like yeah. <laughs> I feel like we have similar thoughts. Like we're on the same. We've got the same values and stuff. So there's yeah. a few things she says. I like, obviously I disagree with because we're still different. But in general, yeah, I think we are the most similar. And you'll probably see that as that like, episodes continue. Yeah. And then guys. It's a toss-up. Even though I was teasing him the other day, um, it's a toss-up between Joseph. I was calling him my op the other day, like, obviously not on camera and stuff, but yeah. I, I rate Joseph. I rate Joseph. Yeah. And also Namdi. Namdi's sick. I love and he's, Namdi! He's from Blue Borough. Blue Borough. I Borra, love Namdi. I so, love him. I love yeah. him. I love, he's my favourite as well. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> I Namdi's love Namdi. a G. I feel like Namdi is like, he's, He's just so sweet, and I feel like um, he, like he says amazing points as well. Like he brings substance to the show. I feel like on the first episode, because I feel like he didn't need to get voted off because I feel like he brought in like he brought in something. And then the <laughs> second episode, I was like, yes, like he he's yeah. amazing. Like he, like I loved when he said, um, imagine if um, you know your 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 partner's uh, boyfriend buys. <laughs> buys your kid Gucci Gucci <laughs> and you're buying it Primark Primark and listen Mandy Mandy's got some gums you know so <laughs> really yes ladies Mandy 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 sorted yeah oh guys if, if you're in the comments the ladies if you're in the comments listen <laughs> who is your least favorite 
backtrack cast member. Who's that person who be like, uh uh, I, I ain't feeling them like that. Mm -mm. Do you know what? I've said it to his face, so it's Ooh. not even that deep. Oh my God, please don't say it. What do you think? Who do you think I'm going to say? Does it begin with a G? No! Good day. Good day. No! So basically, like, he's a cool guy. He just. He's the least likely to be my friend in the real world. You know them ones. Like it's not that he's it's not that he's like some horrible guy or anything. Yeah. There's just little things I've seen him do or say that I would have been like, what? Like, hold on. Ooh. Yeah, like, and it's not even to me he said it, it's to other people, and I've still clocked it. And that's why I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but in all honesty, at the end of the day, you're not gonna get along with everyone in the real nah. world. Uh, nah. It's, uh, we've seen it in the past, but I feel like with you guys, you guys handle it a, a bit differently. Like, okay, you gotta watch the whole, you gotta watch the whole season, girl. What can we uh, expect? Nah, you gotta watch, you gotta keep watching. Like, um, yeah, it's not all smooth sailing all the time. That's it. That's all I'm saying about it. You gotta watch it. <laughs> so are we just, are we just seeing the snow moments right now? Can we expect more later on in the season? I mean, it depends what you describe as slow and fast, but you definitely, I would definitely say that my most memorable, like, topics haven't come out yet. So, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot happening. Oh, you get me all excited now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to ask you as well, um, obviously... We the new season has aired. We're two episodes in, and um, did you guys film during lockdown? Were you guys doing the filming during lockdown then? Yeah, we did do some, but there was proper precautions taken, like COVID tests. And, yeah, do you know what I mean? So it wasn't like a thing where it was just like YOLO. It was, it was. They did the right precautions and stuff. Especially, obviously, with me being pregnant, um, and there's other cast members with health conditions and stuff. So. Yeah. Oh, definitely. That was good. Um, what what was it like for you? You know, filming the season and pregnant at the same time, and you know, being in the room at a debate and sometimes being heated. Like, what was that for you? Did you feel like stress or did you feel pressure? Because I'm not gonna lie, there was somebody in the comments under <laughs> under the videos that must have. Been, I don't know if you've seen it, but they mentioned something like, "Oh, uh, um." You know, they they got a pregnant woman on there. How is she dealing with all the stress that's going yeah, on? Yeah, I room? think I've seen that one. <laughs> like, the thing is, yeah. So, this is my second pregnancy. First okay. of all, yeah. secondly, I'm one of ten. Like, I have six older brothers and three okay. younger sisters. So, noise and me is is when it's quiet. I feel like. What's going on? Where is everyone? Like, I'm <laughs> used to the noise. Yeah. Um, and everyone, everyone was really like. Do you want to sit down? Do you need, do you, like, I think the only thing I would say is my first day, I should have took more sweets because, like, keep the energy up. But other than that, like, it was absolutely fine. If anyone who knows me would have been like, oh, yeah, Anne should be, like, pumping. Anne should be, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'll be doing that and some. So, yeah. yeah, it was absolutely fine. I'm not saying anyone who's pregnant, they should be able to handle it because everyone's totally different. But for yeah. me, it was it was fine. Yeah, yeah. You seemed fine anyway. You was like, listen, you was like, you, you, you wasn't playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you looked amazing on the, the confessions, by the way. You was glowing. I think, I oh. guess it's a pregnancy <laughs> glow. But yeah, you was definitely glowing. Um, I wanted to ask you as well, um, you know, other than being a mom, other than being a presenter and being um, on Backchat, um, you also have your own podcast you mentioned earlier. Can you give us a little bit more about that? Because I've seen it's very interesting, but I wanted to know more on Ballast Moms. Yeah, so it started um, with basically a few of my friends who work in the industry. Yeah. Uh, we all fell pregnant around the same time. So Ooh, okay. <laughs> one's um, Camilla, she's a, a presenter on Capital. Another one's Tanique, she's like a conscious rapper. And uh, Saray is a singer as well. Yeah. So we all fell pregnant around the same time. And I was just like, I feel like there's four, especially black females, there's not many mum podcasts. At the time, there wasn't. Yeah. I think it was Dope Black Dads was out, but Dope Black Mums wasn't out yet. So yeah. we, at the time, there wasn't any. And um, we just decided, like, there's things that, especially in the black community, people don't want to talk about because mm. it's like, 
all oh, hush, hush like keep that private you know what yeah. i mean yeah and i was like i need it i'm sick of watching american youtubers who i can't identify with like they're talking they're talking some things i don't even know what they're calling it because they're using like their slang and i don't know what the word means and all this and so yeah we just kind of decided to come together and in some of the early episodes you'll hear the babies in the background because there was all like a couple months old so we would go and record it and like have them there be oh, breastfeeding and <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah but you know what i was looking in the um on the page and i love the transparency of it like you guys keep it all the way real like i remember you was talking about how um you know you was going for maternity leave i think for the for the second um, pregnancy and you you was mentioning about you know the the reality of it like having to the the maternity pay and things like that and mm -hmm. I respected that because I feel like we don't get enough of that I feel like we see all the you know all the influencer moms just showing us a picture of them pushing the pram and looking pretty but in reality y'all yeah. don't even get enough sleep you know you guys are tired as hell and I feel like it's really important to shed light on that. Um, yeah. But where can they find the podcast? So it's on everything. It's on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud. Um, and then it gets distributed to smaller like podcast sites. So it's pretty much everywhere. If you just type in Badass Mums, the podcast, it should come up. With do, you, do you guys post weekly or how many times in a week do you guys post? Well, because me and Tanique just both had babies, we're kind of on pause at the moment. But I still try to do little bits on the page. Um, yeah. And then I was just with her yesterday. It was her son's birthday. Um, and we're trying to come back, like, uh, mid this year. So we'll definitely Ooh, be back exciting. soon. Yeah. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a parent. I don't have kids. But I would love to, like, have a listen. Um, yeah. But that should be really exciting. I wanted to ask you as well, like, um, during the auditions of Batchat, um what was that like for you was it very crucial was you nervous i guess you wasn't nervous because you're in the presenter world so it shouldn't be that bad but what was it like because i heard that you know a lot of people there was a lot of people on the auditions like that, that yeah we, we can't talk about them too much but okay. personally um I kind of went into this whole thing like let's just let's just do this and see what happens like there yeah. wasn't any real expectation especially because like I said I'd messaged Andy years back and he kind yeah. of was like meh <laughs> <laughs> so I was like oh, I'll try but you know we'll see we'll see yeah. and um shout out to Gabrielle who does all the auditions because she's she like she obviously seen something in me um and I was a bit nervous that I was pregnant. I think that more than anything, I was like, Ooh, you they're going to be like, she can't do this. She's pregnant. But there was obviously really open-minded about everything, which is nice. No, definitely. Because when I saw the train, I was like, they've they got a whole pregnant woman on there. It was so, <laughs> it was so refreshing to see. Because, like, it was like, wow. Like, th that's never happened. I'm yeah. just looking forward to later on in the season and what the season could bring, which brings me to my next question. Now... You know, we saw the trailer, okay? And like you said, you mentioned earlier, there was a, a whole lot more that we're going to see. But, you know, we saw that Falake, um gets into it with someone and she she gets removed out of the room. Can you give mm. us a little tea on that? I mean, <sighs> nah, I can't, you know. You got to wait and see. You got to wait and see. Because it was captured. That's the thing. So, yeah, it's... And you know what? I love Falake, yeah? Like, me and her have a sick bond. She knows this. Because um, yeah. we spent that bit of extra time travelling together and stuff like yeah. that. And, yeah, she's such a cool cucumber that you know, for her to get, like... That, yeah. It was peak. It was peak. That's all I can say, yeah. Was it that bad? I think it was disrespectful what was said, yeah. You, you need to smell something. You can't just leave it there. Listen, that's contracts, you know. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. oh dear. Oh, okay. I mean, is that is that all what we're going to see, or is there a lot more that we're going to see? What, is there more than more... just Falake? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, it's not just Falake, yeah. Is there I feel be like more that... everyone had a moment with someone in some way. 
like even if it wasn't there's there's obviously like a hierarchy of how intense it was oh, but okay. i feel like everyone had a moment with someone yeah even you yeah 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 Ooh. i don't know if i'm ready for this <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. Being a mom, being a presenter, you know, having different positions, you know, being on Bat Chat, how are you able to juggle everything? Like, because you've got so much going on, right? <laughs> I don't even know sometimes, I'm not going to lie. Like, sometimes I just go into autopilot. Um, or I, I'm really, I love my to-do lists. Like, yeah. I love crossing things off and, like, yeah. I'll have a to-do list. Are you, like, organised, like... Like, yeah routine. i have to be super organized although with kids routine goes out the window you can you can have like a goal of the things you need to do and what you need to get done that day but as far as doing it by this time by that time no nah, that doesn't that doesn't happen anymore but um <laughs> i think yeah I'm, i try to be organized and um i also prioritize do you know what i mean if i feel like i'm doing too much of something or something's taken too much away whether that's work or family yeah i'll try and assess that and rebalance for the following week yeah so like that like strip back on one or the other yeah um so yeah but it's not easy it's not people say oh you make it look easy it's not easy it's yeah not. yeah like they don't know what goes on behind closed doors right yeah just the coffee and the sleepless night the <laughs> <laughs> and yeah all those little things that like yeah as you said mums don't really talk about um even just like mum guilt i talk about this quite a lot it's a real yeah. thing yeah like, even right now my bubba he's downstairs um, yeah i just breastfed him literally just before i came on camera yeah and if he's crying right now i'm thinking oh look i've stepped away to do this and, do you know what i mean so you never win as a mum. you always feel guilty you feel guilty about your work or you feel guilty about your children <laughs> how has it been like for you being a new mum now like you've got a, a new baby how's it that been like for you like how's it been you know doing it for the second time it's a bit easier this time yeah because i know what to expect but i think juggling two isn't easy like especially because their routines are so different she's a she's almost three she's three on wednesday yeah so she's a proper toddler she's got opinion she's got routine okay. whereas he's just <laughs> like yeah she's got opinions for a three-year-old i have to check her a lot <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you as well, you know, you, you've been on the uh, presenter world, you've been on the social media world, as now you've entered on a new platform, Backchat, um, were you nervous? Were you like a bit sceptical on what people were going to think of you, um, what the people were going to say? You know how like Twitter was like and Instagram and, you know, what would, have you had like any... And like any moments where you thought, wait, how dare she speak? Like, how did she, how dare she say that? Like, well, who does she think she is? Like, when people bring out their opinions, like, have you had that moment? What was it like for you um, so far? Nothing crazy yet, but mm. I've even had people in my DMs like, why why are you doing this? Like, yeah, has your DM <laughs> been flooding? Like, of people trying yeah. to you? like people trying to um people I know being like amazing this is amazing congratulations yeah. people i know being like what the hell are you doing um <laughs> people i know people i don't know being like check out my music which i always say email me don't send me dms of music <laughs> um but yeah it's been mixed response but i feel like especially so far because you forget in the heat of the moment you forget as well how you phrase things there's things i've said already in these two episodes where i've been like i could have phrased that better yeah in hindsight but that's not in the moment on camera in front of bare people yeah so so far i think it's been all right but um yeah we'll see how it goes uh yeah no, no one said nothing that mad to me yet it's just okay. been a bit more like positive shock or negative shock or loads of brand ambassadors telling me to pay for delivery, which I'm not doing. So. <laughs> Do you feel like at some point, you know, with back with the you know with social media and Twitter, you know, people will have a lot to say regardless. But at the end of the day, you hold you hold your own, and this is who you are, right? Like exactly. And there's one topic I won't tell you the topic. You'll when you see it, you'll go, oh, that's what she was talking about. <laughs> but um, I said to my husband, like the ends expects me to say one thing. And my employer, BBC, expect me to say something else. And I had to go with, like, 
my heart my end, my ends is my heart yeah. so like I, was like I could get sacked off the back of this episode because i'll say a few controversial things Ooh. and i'm like let's see fingers crossed i don't but um i said what i said what i said there yeah, basically i said what i said i believe it a hundred percent and if i get sacked because of it that's life <laughs> oh my god oh okay so um Bear Me Live said, do you feel like you were treated differently on the show because of the pregnancy? And you, did you deal with high emotions due to hormones? Um, I think if anything, the different treatment was positive. Like okay. people was more like, do you want to see? Do you need anything? Watch your belly. Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't, it wasn't like shady. The boys made a few um, comments that, uh, like, ju like a bit black boy banter, nothing too serious. Like, like I remember. <laughs> No, Emily. Emily was like, "Stop milking it," and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "And because I was pumping, one. I like him." <laughs> sometimes I was like pumping on set as well, like breast oh, pumping. Okay. So yeah, it was it was it was more banter, no bad treatment. And as far as like my my hormones, yeah, no more than anyone else. Like like I said, I I come from a loud family, so the environment wasn't intimidating to me at all. Yeah, it was funny because at some, I, I think Emily must have said something um, on episode two. It, it was about like baby father or baby dad, and you was just like, "What?" <laughs> I just love your facial expression because you're like, "What? What are you talking about?" Like, me <laughs> that was so dumb, <laughs> Emily. That was so dumb. It was. I'm not gonna lie. It was. I think he said afterwards that he shouldn't have. He should have rephrased that. But that was the dumbest. <laughs> That's why I just go, oh, come on, like. But Joseph checked him on it. He was like, I, yeah, that was stupid. That was stupid. Who do you think actually, like, carries the show, carries the debate? Like, do you, do, you, do you think you guys carry the debate as a whole? Or do you feel like there's certain two people that are like, yeah, they, they, they bring it, they carry it, in your opinion? Because that's definitely like you all, more. You all bring it. Yeah, there's more standout characters. Like, you're yeah. not going to forget something Lani does on an episode, no matter what. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, there's yeah. always something for everyone where, whether you like it or not, it's it's memorable. Yeah. But I actually think it really depends on the topic because there's some topics that people just thrive on. Like, for me, I would say that Emmanuel, on the most recent topic, he was killing it. Like, yeah, he, he had really... It. Yeah, all his points were very relevant, like, yeah. changed people's opinion. He was able to actually change people's opinion about certain things. And that's what you want from a debate. You want to influence yeah. the other side. So I think it really depends on the topic, who carries that episode. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. He was one of the people that definitely carried it. But I feel like because he's a dad and he knows, because I feel like even in the confessions, he must have mentioned, like, oh, um, <laughs> it was funny because he was like, you see, you see with people that don't have kids yet, there's, there's a problem here. <laughs> I could have said the same thing because you just don't under... I was so delusional before I had children. I thought I was going to literally give birth to my daughter. Two months later, life's back to normal. Yeah. Like, your life's changed forever. And until you get to that point, I've even yeah. had people say they want 10 kids. I'm like, have one. <laughs> have one and then tell me yeah because it's it, it is life changing i would like to say thank you so much shala for coming to my platform for taking time out of your schedule to come and speak to me today like i know you're very busy have you got any last words um for the people where can they find you and let them know where can they find you yeah, everything is pretty much Charlotte to hear, right? It's not the easiest to spell, so maybe just look at the <laughs> the description or something. Yeah. But um, yeah, every pretty much all my socials is Charlotte to hear, um, and yeah, last message I would say just kind of um, just take those risks. Like people will be like, it was a risk you going on there pregnant. It was a yeah. risk. To, like even like I said with my job if I say the wrong thing yeah. but at the end of the day like I think life's too short so just do whatever makes you happy we've got one more question for the people they said yeah. if you could choose a specific cast or season that would suit you best which would it be which I should have been there from day one I should have yeah, been there season one. one you know what I think you should have been there on season one they should have chosen <laughs> you on season one and I'm not saying this because you were here I'm really being honest like you should have been there on season one season two because I feel like they needed you on there okay along with Missy T as Raya um, Rima, I love do you know you what as well that cast. 
I love Nissy T and I love Azraya. Like, yeah. that, that's a compliment to me. But I wanted to ask you as well, like, um, who was your favourite cast member on that season? Like, on during those previous seasons? Yeah, it was probably as well on this ET. Yeah. Esther, Esther, I liked, but she lost me sometimes. Like it was yeah. an up and down relationship. Do what about me? <laughs> Let me just tell you, yeah. People want to chat about Esther. If Nunu was on my season, oh my god, oh. Yeah, and nah. you know that's the thing. People make Esther as if like I'm like Esther's actually not that bad. Yeah, I mean, Esther's just like unfiltered. And she's just unapologetic. I feel Nunu like was Nunu. wild. Nunu that episode was when she episode. said Nunu to Esther. <laughs> that episode when she said to Esther about basically um, why she had to delay uni and her not like. Do you remember about her child and stuff? Oh yeah, you should have. Um, you were. What was you doing at twenty one? That's when my Lucian's gonna come out. Like I was a fighter. I had brothers. I was a fighter in secondary <laughs> school. That's one of the moments where I feel like I could have ended up... If she'd said that to me, I could have ended up fighting her on set. Like, it wouldn't have been a joke. Because you can't... Shut up. Don't talk about my life. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but do you not feel like... Like, there was a lot of... Obviously, what she said was, like, uncalled for. But yeah. do you feel like there was other things that went down? Like... You know, the picking, you know, picking on Nunu. And I feel like probably Nunu just had enough of it and it just blurted out. Like, do you not feel like that? Yes. But I feel like there's no smoke without fire as well. So. Okay. Normally, like, obviously, let's not, let's not play down bullying. Do you know what I mean? Bullying's a real issue. Yeah. But I feel like Nunu's a big enough character that she wouldn't have been getting just bullied. Do you know what I'm saying? She would have been planting some seeds and then it would have spiraled off into other things mm. yeah oh okay that's that's an interesting point i never saw it like that yeah i can't imagine her just getting straight up bullied because she's a bold character that's normally more people who are introverted or shy or more reserved definitely definitely but i'm not gonna take more of your time thank you so much for coming um, I'm looking forward to seeing you more on the later episodes and Thank hopefully you. we see you on the reunion as well. Ah, yeah. There's going to be a reunion. And I'll have my um my body back completely so I'll be able to wear something nice. That was the yes. hardest thing. You better give it to us. Dressing for someone with boobs. I'm so flat chested and I had massive boobs and um, I normally show my belly and my legs and legs don't show filming and my belly was obviously massive. So I struggled, outfits, I struggled. I was like, I don't have any clothes. <laughs> Listen, you were still looking amazing. You were still, Thank I'm taking, there was the pregnancy glow. I was <laughs> loving it, the pregnancy glow. Like when, um, when you was on the confessions, I was like, God damn, she's, she's pretty. She's pretty. <laughs> but anyways, guys, make sure you guys follow Sharla Tahira and make sure you, make sure you guys support her. Make sure you guys, Tune in to Wednesday at 8 p.m. Y'all do not want to miss it because it, it's, it's, it's going to be a whole lot more that we're going to see, right? Yeah, get ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay, girl, I'll see you um, on the next episode. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.